Welcome to my video newsletter for May 2018. Uh, this is my uh, sixth edition. Let's go. First thing I want to talk about is sales in March. Uh, March sales, there were only three homes sold in March this year. The lowest uh, March I've seen since I've been keeping track uh, for the last 15 years or so. Those March sales, we had an average of roughly 485000 and a median uh, sale price of uh, roughly 510000 Uh, because January was uh, was gangbusters, we had uh, quite a number in January. Uh, the low February and the low March uh, still netted us uh, 23 sales for the quarter uh, compared to 24 for last year, which is a pretty good year. As we look at inventory, inventory continues to be low. Uh, we only have uh, 46 homes for sale currently. Uh, the average of those is very high, in fact, the highest again since I've been keeping track at uh, roughly 885,000. Uh, the median is uh, 669,000. Again, the, the highest median number I've, I've seen in the 15 years I've been keeping track. Uh, the marketplace in East Ham is uh, starting to wake up. The, the snow has finally left. The weather, uh, although it's still uh, rainy and cold, is uh, slowly improving. Um, we've had, as, as I mentioned earlier, not very many uh, sales in uh, February and March. Uh, April, I expect to be low also because of the crummy weather in February and uh, in January. Uh, May, uh, likewise, but uh, to be determined. Uh, folks are starting to come out. We're starting to see some action. Uh, the weekends are, tend to be busier. And so I expect all in all the, it to be a good year. I'm, uh, I'm optimistic here. A couple items that we need to talk about relative to uh, the newsletter. Uh, one of them is an article in the newsletter about the town meeting uh, coming up uh, May the 7th. Um, interesting articles have to do with uh, uh, marijuana uh, establishments. Uh, we've, one of the uh, articles has to do with uh, limiting the number of uh, establishments in town to two uh, retail establishments. The, another article of, of deep interest to much of the town has to do with uh, what's called the DP, DCPC, it's a little bit of a tongue twister, uh, which is um, rezoning of the commercial district uh, from, uh, from roughly Arnold's up to uh, uh, roughly Railroad uh, Road in, the, in Northeast Ham. Uh, the rezoning that uh, that area into a number of uh, subzones, if you will, to allow different kinds of establishments. Again, the goal is to uh, is to keep the uh, character uh, of East Ham uh, whole, not allow uh, big box stores, not allow uh, uncontrolled development in that area. Another newsletter article you should read has to do with uh, rental tax on uh, on short stays in individual homes. Uh, it's reared its ugly head over the years, but this time it looks like it's going to actually happen. Uh, the state is, uh, man, has, uh, is, is on the edge of approving a 2.75% uh, tax on all short-term rentals uh, for wastewater uh, treatment plants or wastewater uh, management on, on the Cape and other places in the state. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as is always the case, you open the door a little bit for this kind of taxation. They, they tack other taxes onto it. Uh, my guess is it would be 11 or 12% before we're done. But anyway, this is coming up. And it should uh, it does, certainly does not apply to this year, but will likely apply to uh, 2019. Not fully approved yet, but I, I expect it to happen. Also in this newsletter, and I'll be brief, is that a number of new listings. Uh, they're coming on uh, kind of quickly now. Uh, I think delayed because of the crummy weather we've had earlier this year. Um, we're going to see a number of new listings, mine included, so uh, take a look. Uh, as we come to a close here, thank you very much for, for listening and watching, and I'll see you next month.